Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Amy for those of you who are new. And to get let's get started today. I am going to share with you my product empties and I've got quite a selection here. I've been trying to save them up for a few months. Um there's just some stuff that just takes me a while to go through. I don't use it a lot. Um there's other things I went through fairly quickly. Um so we'll just get started here. I have used up my Morphe setting spray. I love this and I'm going to have to get me some more but I've used up the one of those that I had and I've also used up this Zoe New York Revitalizing Rose Mist. This is an amazing setting spray. It smooths, replenishes moisture to the skin. It's just really great. I love it. It's cooling. Um, I got it at Walmart one time and I can't find it anymore. So that makes me kind of sad. I'll have to keep looking. Um, I've used up this hairspray. It's Renewing Plus Argan Oil of Morocco Elevated Hair spray, uh, Finishing Spray. Uh, it's an all-day hold for your hair by OGX. And I really like this, and it smells amazing, but it, it's a, if you can tell, it's a pretty good-sized bottle. So it's taken me a while to go through, but I really like this, and I will be getting more of this. Right now I'm using another one but that I wanted to try, but I'll be getting that. And then I found this at Dollar General for like a dollar. And they don't have it anymore. And I love the smell of it. And it's by Power Stick Body Spray for Her in Scream. Now tell me that bottle isn't just the cutest thing ever. And it smells amazing. And I love this like when I go to work out or whatever. So that is awesome. Um, I've, talked, I've talked about these before. And I think these are the only two of these I have. Uh, I have in here right now because I'm using a different one. But these are the Aveeno Active Radiant, Active Naturals Positively Radiant and Clear Complexion Daily Cleansing Bags. They gently exfoliate skins, gently exfoliates to reveal skin's natural radiance. And they come with, there's like 28 in each. They foam up. They're pre-moistened, but they foam, and they're they're spectacular. I love these in the shower. Right after, right before I get out, scrub my face down. They feel fabulous. I went through two of them. I've got another bottle or another tub of them, but I'm working on going through some other stuff that I'm trying for peel pads. <coughs> and I still got this cold. Um, and then this was amazing, and they don't have it anymore, and I'm so sad. It's um, Bath and Body Works. Smooth, soothing Almond Milk Whipped Body Butter. And this felt so good. It wasn't too heavy. It wasn't too thick. It smelled amazing. Oh, it still smells good. And I've used every drop I possibly could get out. It's amazing. And then I also tried out some Beauty Cream. It's just a really nice, rich cream vibe dove. And this is really good, too. I really liked this. Um, I wasn't a super fan of this, but it works. It's um, Hydro Boost Gentle Cleansing Lotion by Neutrogena. This works well. It cleans well. It left my skin clean. I just, I don't know. I just wasn't a huge fan of it. I don't know. Maybe it was the texture of it. But it worked really well. It left my skin feeling very clean. Um, my Not Your Mother's. I am obsessed with Not Your Mother's. Um, this is the Way to Grow Long and Strong Shampoo and Conditioner. They are sulfate-free. They're non-damaging. They help repair your hair. They smell super clean. It's not like a fruity smell or a perfume smell. It's just a clean, I've been to the salon smell, and I love these. And I have used up two. I think this is probably my third of these. And I've got some in my shower now but these are the not your mother's um, way to grow leave-in conditioners these are fantastic too absolutely love them I've heard, I'm sure you've heard me talk about them time and time again I love not your mother's it's my favorite um I just have a mess of stuff I have tried then I have the Fruit Trees Nourishing One Minute Hair Mask with Coconut Extract. I loved this. 
this was really good. It's by Garnier. Um, it smelled fantastic. Mmm. I love the coconut smell. You can see I have, I have wiped that baby clean. I tried this other hair mask I didn't like. I'm now using a Not Your Mother's. Love it. But this is the Rainforest Moisture Hair Butter for dry hair. And it smelled good, but I don't feel like it gave my hair any moisture whatsoever. So, not my favorite there. Um, Lufa. I use these about once a month. They're great to have. I think I've probably thrown three away. Um, another setting mist. This is the e.l.f. Uh, makeup mist and set. These are really great. I love them. Um... I've used this whole set, but for some reason, the only bottle I can find is the body wash. And it's a Bath & Body Works Shirt Cotton and Lemonade. I love the smell of this. This smells amazing. But if you've seen my video of my collection of Bath & Body Works, I'm a Bath & Body Works addict. Uh, let's see, I tried an astringent, and I didn't like it, but I used it. It's just the Dollar General brand. It, but... I mean, for a great toner to cleanse up your face, it works. I didn't like the smell of it. It's just not for me. Um, I probably went through three or four of these, and they're all right. I still don't like the greasy feel left over, but it's the Colt Pond's Cold Cream Cleanser. Moisturizing cleanser and deep makeup re and makeup remover. And just like that. And I like these, don't get me wrong. I just don't like feeling all greasy. Um, now I love this. I will probably be repurchasing a full size of this and it's the Clinique take the day off. I am in love with this. This one was one of the little trial sizes I picked up from, um, I think I got it from Ipsy for like $3 on one of the add-ons. I've used this daylights out of that. So there was nothing left. I absolutely was in love with it and I will be ordering more of that before long. Um, the we oi leave-in conditioner this was really nice this worked really well in my hair i felt like it was pretty comparable to this and i liked the smell of it and then there was this one um by numa and this was really nice too and they both smelled really good and these are like i don't even know where lit oh there it is. these are little samples i got from from my Ipsy bag. I used them up. I liked them. I've got one I'm working on now that they gave me. It's like a split in type treatment thing. You just put it from here down. I don't know. Throw that in the trash. This one is this. Uh, oh, this is the Hey Honey Relax Propolis and Honey Smoothing Moisturizer. It calms redness and upset skin. And I don't, I don't feel like it did a lot for my skin, <coughs> but it did smell nice, um, just not quite for me. This was an awesome face wash, and and it's pH 5.5 clinically tested, the Seba Med Liquid Face and Body Wash, and this is awesome. I liked this. It smelled great. It cleansed great. It was great for my body, for my face. I used it mostly for my face, and I loved it. Um, now, on the other hand, something I wasn't super impressed by is this olive oil by Aphrodite Face Scrub for all skin types, gentle exfoliate, gently exfoliating. Um, I'd say it worked. I mean, it really was a gentle exfoliant. It smelled awful to me. I didn't like the smell. It smelled like olive oil. I would have expected it to smell clean. I mean, if you're using it on your face, I'd expect it to have a clean smell, um, even a, a little more perfumed smell, but this just flat out smelled like the olive oil you cook with. Not enticing for me to use on my face to wash my face with. Um, one of my favorite eyeliners, I have another one I am using as well, is the Fabuliner. By Jordana, which I cannot find anymore. I'm glad I had bought them back up when I did. 
<coughs> I'm sorry, guys. I am just struggling. But last but not least, and I plan on ordering more of this as soon as I can. It, it is the Extraordinary Translucent Powder by Ciate London. I like this. I have another one by... And my brain just went blank. There's another one I really like that I've been using, and I'm not sure which one I like better. But that's that one. Um, wow, we went through that really fast. I was expecting this to take a little longer with the amount of stuff I have, but I guess some of it is duplicates. I've got, you know, doubles of stuff. And then, I mean, it's really just plain and simple. The things I liked and I didn't like, I used up I a lot of stuff. Um... Some I liked and some I didn't. I think most of it I liked for the most part. Um, I'm not really sure about using a jelly product on my face, but, I mean, it worked well. It was, and I love the packaging. It's cute. You know, it's just, most of this I really enjoyed. Um, the things I really, really, really had to do a hard pass on. I used it hoping it would get better, but... This did my hair no good. I was excited when I found it. It's by The Body Shop. It's a Rainforest Moisture Hair Butter. Okay, I'm thinking butter, you know, like this stuff works. My skin stayed supple all winter. And I get so dry and like flaky and ashy and it's not attractive. So I'm thinking, you know what, these worked well. So, you know, it's a butter. It's going to you know. That was a hard pass. And this, I used it up hoping maybe I'd start to like the scent. It would grow on me. No. No. I like stuff that's spa like that smells fresh and clean. It makes me feel like I'm enjoying what I'm doing. And that didn't do it. Didn't do it. So, well, guys, I'm going to go take me some more decongestants, eat me some dinner. And I will see you guys next time. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and we'll see you next time. Mwah!